And we're live! I totally didn't just get up to close the door or anything. No, 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 no. We're live! It's Morrowind time again. Yes, yes indeed. Still using version not 45 because... Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, still the stable version. Uh, very much looking forward to their new release, whatever that happens to be. And uh, yes, so... Last we left off, I had a bunch of stuff that I was carrying around unnecessarily, and now I have less stuff. I still need to drop more stuff. But, hey, since we uh, previously killed the owner of this place right here, it is now my house. And you can see I've already started to decorate it a little bit. <laughs> and this is where I dropped the soul stones, because I didn't want to get caught by the uh, Guild of Mages person. Don't trust containers in uh, Bethesda games. They, 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 they tend to reset, except for a few specific ones. So yeah, don't trust these. Don't, don't put your items in there. Right, I was going to do things, namely I was going to look at this table and start dropping stuff on it. So let's move windows out of the way. Because this was one of the things I really liked about um, Morrowind. Hello, Jill. You could just place stuff in the world. I mean, it always has the same orientation depending on the item, depending on what, like, you were doing, and that sound effect is annoying. Can I, like, lower the sound effects a little bit? More. Footsteps. Effects. Yes, of course, it's maxed out. Let's bring that down. That was interesting. <laughs> I lower that, and uh, the whole screen goes black. That's new. <laughs> I wonder if that's KD, or what the hell's causing that. Well, um, it'll be interesting to see what it'll look like in the stream. In any case, let's keep plopping things down. Um, that, 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 that was weird. <laughs> Hello, Vince Complete. Lack of surprise. <laughs> yes, I, I decorated it in the sense that I put some things... ...in places. <laughs> Seriously, what did that black screen while I was lowering the, uh, the slider look like? Because that was weird. I'm going to have to try while I'm not streaming to figure out what that was. And... These, and where are the diamonds at? I had diamonds. There. There. Hello, Scott! I'm just plopping things on the table. Don't mind me. Uh... There. Mostly just to try and get rid of some of the weight. <laughs> that chunk of raw ebony is like 10 pounds on its own. <laughs> Shard of glass? Sure, why not? Soap. Let's put the soap on the bench there. It looks made out of wood. There, that's now my alchemy table right there. That's a big chunk of mushroom. <laughs> uh, say there and there. Honestly, the only things I would keep are like the salt rice and the rest of the stuff that lets me make health potions. That's n nice. Anywho, that takes care of that. Cool, cool. Very good. Sunny. Eh, furps seem a bit lower. That's odd. Yes, they are very low. Hmm. Something's up. <laughs> Something happened here. <laughs> okay, so, um, last time I did the, well, I started the Guild of Mages missions, and I did, uh, the first two for the Khajiit, I don't remember her name. But, we have now, um, advanced to high enough, uh, level in the guild 
that we can either continue to do the uh, quests here, or since I had a bit of a sleep and I caught some, uh, I had some weird dreams, I suppose I, sh I should go tell um, Caius Cassades about my dreams. <laughs> Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. Thank you. <laughs> that was a very warm greeting. I feel very warm. Although that may have something to do with the fact that the heater was on earlier, so... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's go tell Caius Cassades. Outland, what do you want? Hey. Anywho. You. Well met. Well met. Orders. Can I tell you about my dreams? I can't tell you about my dreams. We need an Ashlander informant. I've heard of a fellow in Old Run named Hasur Zizmina, huh? An Ashlander who left the wastes to become a wealthy trader. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these hundred drakes, find out what Zesh Bani likes, and um, get him a gift. Then give him the gift, and see if he'll tell us something about the Ashlanders and the Nerevarine cult. Report back to me. Okay, I'm supposed to buy him a gift with a hundred gold. Right on. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, muscular arms from 2001 or 2. <laughs> I mean, compared to Neverwinter Nights, these graphics looked absolutely amazing. Okay, so he said Old Run, and his name was. What was his first name? Hasur Zain Subani. Okay. It helps to actually remember the name of the NPCs. Sometimes. Where would you like to go? Eldrun, do you take me there? And that flickering is still there, whatever that is. Uh, Eldrun, yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> we spawned in the same place. Ow. Eh, that didn't deal much damage. Cool. Guess all that training in acrobatics is helping? <laughs> no, not Alderaan. <laughs> Neverwinter Nights 2 is slightly better. Eh, slightly, yes. <laughs> but it had the- oh, hello. You can see the flickering of the ghost fence. There's a lot of Zed fighting happening there. That's something else for me to look at. Yeah, I guess it was never meant to be seen from all the way down here. <laughs> yeah, Neverwinter Nights 2 was from the... the time that Obsidian released a bunch of very, very buggy sequels to games. Are you an Ashlander? No. Wealth beyond measure. What do you ask of me? No. No, you're not. You're not... Ah, here he is. I may speak. I may speak. Uh, may you be blessed. I do not wish to trade, but if you have business, speak it. For I am here at leisure. Yes. I see you wish to learn of the Ashlanders from me. What is it you wish to learn? What are their gift-giving cust uh, customs? A gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers, and affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that you are cautious, considerate, and aware of what the others wants and needs. Such is particularly useful for traders. Okay, thoughtful gift. Ah yes, a gift that shows you've taken care to learn something about the receiver. For example, I love poetry. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the uh, giver respects me and has made special effort to know and please me. But now I have answered your question and would like some time to myself, if you'll excuse me. All right, I'm listening. Book of poetry. Book of poetry. It's a very good question. <laughs> yeah. Did, 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 did. 
This is a subani. What you wanted to know. What sort of gift would you like? Oh, yes, a rich. I don't know. Perhaps a book. His book. His room was filled with them. I've seen uh, them when I clean. They are all over the place. Yes. It says that it eh, has many books in this room, and perhaps that would be a suitable gift. Okay, the perfect Our gift. Okay, so I guess we have to go and look around the shops. I do not see books. I do not see okay. books. But make it quick. I don't see books there either. No, no, no. Ah, there, there it is. Red Book of Riddles, Ashland Hymns. Okay. Matsera. Matsera. Uh, I don't know. Books. <laughs> I mean, this one is pretty open. I mean, this is, or was at the time, the open world game. It's. Seriously, look at this world map. Look at it. It's huge. <laughs> so, we gotta find a bookstore. That's a house. That's a house. This is the council club. Okay, Outlander. But make it quick. I don't... I don't yeah. What was that? Shh. <laughs> Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. I see by your outfit your affairs have prospered. Can I help you? No, and how do you know my name? I do not believe we've ever talked before. Wait, have we? Speak, Traveler. Oh, we have. That's the one that I went to the place up north with. Um, Voss, yes. <laughs> That's her. Okay, cool, cool. I mean, she doesn't seem to like me very much for some reason. I mean, I basically saved her life. Repeatedly. <laughs> uh, Guild of Mages. Might have some books. Specific place. I can buy spells. Ooh, I can buy the door opening spell. Yes, please. And what else? What else? What else? Blind. Damage health. Black hand. On touch. Okay. Sanctuary, reflect 10%. Telekinesis. Telekinesis is great. <laughs> of course, I never called her back. What can I do for you, friend? She works for the temple. The temple doesn't believe that uh, Indril Nerevar will return. But, well, we all know. Haha! Teleportation scrolls? Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> and cure common disease. Eh, I'll take it. Fortify willpower, origin of the mages guild, lesser soul jam. Eh. Ah, friend. How does the day greet you? We're not that friendly. Himla. Something. What does it ask? I was looking for a thoughtful gift for someone else, but you... Well, you let me make spells and buy spells, so that's good. Let's see. Ooh. It's the bound stuff. Well, part of the bound stuff anyway. Let's see. The boots and the gauntlets. And... Some summoning spells. Like a skeletal minion. Sure. And Wild Levitate. <laughs> 1 to 50 points for 30 seconds on self. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Disintegrate weapon. Inertial barrier. Or third barrier, as they call it here. Uh, uh. Ooh, light. Yes. Okay, you don't sell any books. Um, I need a book of poetry. Nothing there. Oh, come on. What Guild of Mages is this? Doesn't you guys have a library of some sort? There's the potion maker. How does the day greet you, friend? 
That's not poetry. With that raised my mysticism. Still not poetry. Hello. Yes. Restoration to 32. Yes, please. Still not poetry. Brief history of the uh, the empire. Yeah, everyone's speaking at once. Crazy. Oh, the Guild of Mages has a forge. All right. <laughs> Badass. You seek information, Cyrodiil. I do. Do you have any real nice weapons? Uh, the Iron Spark Slayer. What kind of damage am I looking at? Four to twenty-six. Yeah, mine's better. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chameleon ten percent. No. No, you don't have anything interesting. I need to go find that book. Book, 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 book. And my acrobatics keeps increasing because I jump all over the place. Do you have books? No. Then no is the answer to that. Okay. Hmm. This is the no Guild of Thieves. In. From where do you hail? Hell. What does he sell? He sells ash statues, torches, and steel daggers. Ash statues would be interesting. Uh, he does training. Right on. What is this about? About. What is this about? What <laughs> <laughs> um, No thoughtful gifts. What do you sell? Lockpicks, probes, and that's it. Yes, it is the Thieves' Guild. That what much. We knew. Or suspected, anyway. Oh, I damn near clipped through the wall there. Let's not go jump. <laughs> Guessing back in the day there was a little loading when you go and get a house. Yep. <laughs> this warm blood has questions. Honor among thieves. A de black arrow. More acrobatics. Yes. <laughs> there are many creatures beyond the seas. Thank you. No. Head on. Yes. I mean, most of the Bethesda games, the loading screens usually come from when you're inside a building and you're going outside, like this, and you can still see the loading uh, thing show up at the bottom, but that's it. That's all you're getting. <laughs> well, there is a book. Is that a bookstore? It looks like a bookstore. Yep. <laughs> Bookseller. Let's hear it. Uh, no, I want to hear it from this person. Hi, thoughtful gift. Uh, it likes poetry. I have a few volumes here. I believe Words of Wind and Ashland Imns and the Five Stars are around here somewhere. Words of the Wind. The Mirror is a skill book, if I'm not mistaken. Did I say the Five Stars? I think he said the five stars. Um, Origin of the Mages Guild, Talara, Akavir, Eliza the Saints. Um, five songs of King Wolf Hearth. <laughs> Confessions of a Skuma Eater. <laughs> Reef History of the Empire. Ashland hymns, ABCs for barbarians. <laughs> There's a couple of funny books. I'll give him that. Um, I didn't bring any of my books, but I can sell some of my uh, scrolls that I don't use. Elemental burst, fire. Forty to sixty-five points. That did. That, that is a lot of damage. It's also a lot of money, so why don't you take that? And yep, take those two as well. 
And I get 35 gold out of the, that particular business. Nothing is more revolting to the Dunmer than the feeling of the sorry spect uh, spectacle of another Dunmer enslaved by that derivative moon sugar known as Skuma. <laughs> Mystery of Talara. The mirror. There we go. I should rest and uh, meditate on what I've learned. That was block. I don't need to buy the books, I just need to read them. Uh, they're easy to find, they're the usu usually the really pricey ones. I'm listening. Of course you are. Um, how about... Speak, traveler. Just... get. You don't have any more books on display? That's annoying. I just wanted to... whatever. Whatevs! You, uh, gonna get out of my way? No? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that flickering's annoying. Eh, might just lower the, um, draw distance. It's caused us plenty of problems in the past. Including the game freezing for, like, 30 seconds. Just not doing anything. Right. So, let's go back to Ashlander Person. And give him a book. I have all three, so you should take at least one of them. Right. Well, what is this about? Right. How about that thoughtful gift? He took the five stars. Cool. It would please me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you wish to know about the Outlanders and the Nerevarine cult? The Ashlanders. There's too much to tell. Here, take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Nerevarine cult. That makes my job easier. But most of all, if you are visiting a camp, there are things you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. And since you ask about the Nerevarine cult, perhaps you'll be interested in my views of the Ashlanders and foreigners, because a gilding passion of the Nerevarine cult is their hatred for foreigners. Nerevarine cult. Da, 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 da. Okay. Ashlanders and foreigners. Wish all foreigners and their false gods could be driven from Morrowind. At the very least, Ashlanders wish the foreign devils would leave them in peace. Ashlanders think it's shameful to attack unarmed persons, but they will kill without hesitation a, an armed person who offends them or their clan laws. No Ashlander is fool enough to make war against the Empire. However, if such a war might be won, many Ashlanders might cheerfully give their lives to win such a war. I have his notes. Courtesy. And challenge. In challenge to a sport, it is acceptable to decline. When challenged for honor, it is shameful to decline. Honor challenges come from the offense given in speech or action, or may represent customary formal challenges of status or ritual. Mm. Yeah, pretty sure the hard drive on the first laptop that I had was slower than that. <laughs> uh, it's like 80. You'll find all that you see, Thank you. Uh, it was like an 80 gig ID hard drive. It was funny trying to dual boot Windows XP and uh, Ubuntu 5.10 on it. That was uh, good times. <laughs> Very good times. Anywho. I have the notes. I can go back to Caius Casades. I think. Of course you are. You're, you're standing outside. I don't know why, but he is. And that flickered. Yeah, a lot of uh, graphical fuckery and uh, poor performance going on today. I wonder if it didn't like me removing all of the mitigations, but that shouldn't have made a difference. Eh. Eh. I'll have a look at it later. Ow. After the stream. <laughs> That sound effect, though. <laughs> and jumping is still faster. So jump we shall. Uh, 
Hello. My orders. Thank you for your report. But keep Zane, so um, Zane Sabani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshilaku camp. Oh, great. To speak with Sol Matul and Nibidi Maesa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. Ooh, juicy. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance um, of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me. So you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Here. This is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say that you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesized Nerevarine? At first I thought we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think, but I am sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition, and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. So, Zain Subani says Sul uh, Matul and Nibani Maesa at the Urshalaku camp are the heads of the Nerevarine cult, so I am sending you to speak to them. Tell them your story, and have them test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. As heads of the Nerevarine cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for expenses and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmoth. Before you go to Urshalaku camp, see uh, Samudis Vunis and Cruelius Pontanian at Fort Moonmoth. I've asked them to put aside some potions and scrolls for you, courtesy of the Emperor. In particular, you'll want to cure potions. I hear the Blight is very bad up north. And use the Divine Intervention Scrolls if you're, uh, over your head. Yes, I already have a few of those specifically for that reason. Uh, it'll get you safe to an Imperial Cult Shrine, where you can heal, refit, and try again. Cool. So, where's the camp? Zain Subani says the Urshalaku camp lies close to the Sea of Ghosts, north of the village of Margan. Okay, we can go from here on Balmora to Aldran to Margan in the Silt Striders. So, it should be easy enough. Fastest, smartest way is to take the Silt Strider from Balmora to Aldran and Aldran to Margan. There we go. <laughs> in Margan, look for a scout named Nolino Tedas at the Maragon outpost. She'll be able to tell you how to reach Urshalaku camp. Cool. Nerevarine prophecies. An orphan and outcast. A youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and the emperor that they are talking about, it is uh, Uriel Septim the Third, the one you see at the start of Oblivion. The one that gets killed at the start of Oblivion. The one that's voiced by uh, Patrick Seward. <laughs> I can see how it would be nice to have an Erevarine in our pocket, just in case. But the Emperor and his advisors seem to think this prophecy is genuine, whatever a genuine prophecy is, and we're going to take it seriously. Aren't we? Yeah, he doesn't really believe the prophecy, but... Well, let's not spoil what's going to happen next, shall we? <laughs> and... Yeah, there's a significant furps drop looking in that general direction over there. I don't know why. But it is there. Although that is the authentic experience. That's about how smooth I was able to play it back in the day. But yeah, something happened. And I'm not entirely sure what. I don't think there was an update for OpenMW. Where would you like to go? I mean, there isn't much in the way of... And this flickering. Eh. <laughs> It's there enough to be annoying. Um, I d he did say to go to for uh, Fort Moonmoth before I go, right? So let's go over there then. It's just across the pond.
Do we have the sleeper out in the road? Telling me about Digather? I mean, Digather has already shown me the dreams. So... That is pretty. I'll give it that. <laughs> Okay. No, the sleeper is still not here. It usually shows up around there. So, we haven't progressed the story that far yet. Actually, one of the things I might try when, when we get to that point is uh, after we get um, the Wraith Guard, since it's a right-handed glove, maybe get the other Wraith Guard. Which is a left-handed glove. So, what were the names of the people? Uh, topics. Topics. Um, essential supplies, wasn't it? Yes. In particular, you want to cure potions. Samutis so Vunus and Cruelius Pontanian. Right. You're a Nord. You are a Red Guard. You are a Nord. Camera Chariot. No. So it's you two. No. Oh, Cruelius Pontanian. Yes. I want the essential supplies, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the potions. Are you the potion teller? Yeah, he's not giving me the uh, essential supplies. You. Go ahead. Samutis Vunis. There we go. Essential supplies. Yes, all the potions. I'm glad I cleared out some uh, weight from the inventory. Still wearing stupidly heavy armor, so me. <laughs> Do you want something from me? No. I would have talked to you if I did. All right, let's take the Silt Strider up north then. Legitimate ways of uh, fast traveling. It's yeah, it's actually pretty well done. Good job. <laughs> Makes it feel organic. Whatever that word means nowadays. But yeah, even Caius Cassades, um, skeptic as he is, seems to lend some credence to the whole Nerevarine prophecy and the fact that we may be the Nerevarine. Did you see that? <laughs> that was real odd. I think I'm just going to, um... Wipe the config file because I just I took the config file from my previous install and just dumped it back into the dot uh, config folder, so it didn't present itself last time. But there may be something happening there. Well, <laughs> you can do fighting in Morrowind, but let's be honest, this combat system isn't great. <laughs> It's probably why they try to um, break it up with non-combat stuff. A lot. Hello. Yeah. It's a nice day up here. Alright, take me to Maragon then. Make a special trip just for you. Say low price. Yes. Right. So there's the Urshalaku camp. It is just straight north from here okay let's go uh, what did he say the person's name was uh-huh orders tell honey agents I mean I know where it is Nerevarine, Nerevarine. That's what we know. Okay. 
Um, bin -dum -bin -dum -bin -dum. Urshalaku Camp. Okay. D -d Nuleno Tedas. Okay. That's what I needed to know. <laughs> well, you've you shake a stick of things and things fall over. That 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 constitutes fighting, right? Um. Ooh. You sell armor? No, no, you don't. I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's move this along. Bite me. Let's say I do mind. Outland, what do you want? I want to find um, that Thuddus person. Dedicated to the memory of a Valenarian, killed by Kusrading, remove the blight from the Vasami Egg Mine. May her spirit rest eternally. Tedas. Noleno Tedas. Of course you don't. Here's some money. Now shut up and tell me about Urshalaku Camp. Due north, higher ridges lie in the way. From Margan, at east, past the Silt Strider, then take the trail north to the Foyada. So that's the Fire River. Follow the Foyada northwest to the sea. A shipwreck at the uh, Skamath of the Ravine is a let or Seamouth of the Ravine. Skamath. What the fuck? <laughs> um, swim east around uh, the headland. Pass east through the ruins of... Um, not even going to attempt that. Avoid danger there. They're powerful and aggressive. Urshalaku camp lies east of the ruins inland in a low hollow. Alright. Cool. We have the necessary uh, points of reference, I believe. So, east. Past the Silt Strider. This is west. This is east. Right? I'm not going crazy. Yes. So, here and around the Silt Strider. That way. Until we find the bottom of the thing there. Okay. Oh, that's right. You still can't see the cursor. That's good. That is very good. <laughs> uh, so, bottom there, all the way up, and then to the right. Okay. Cool. We shall follow the fire river then. The Foyada. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Jumpy, jumpy. Why is there a house? Healing. Oh, hello. <laughs> there was a scamp. <gasps> you scamp. <laughs> the scamp had a key. <laughs> Yes, fighting just happened. Blink and you'll miss it. Another key. Doors to the spirit. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't seem too bothered. <laughs> Is that scamp really gone? Thank you, whoever you are. It's all my fault. Wanted to be a real sorcerer, not just Yulene's apprentice for the rest of my life. I wanted to prove I could summon a scamp. Then Yulene would take me seriously. I'm just glad it's all over now. Thanks for killing the scamp. Scamp? Okay. Mage's guild. Alright. I'm sure that's a quest I have now solved and can just hand in the result at a later date. Oh look, this is the way we're going, and what do we see? Two! Count them. Two cliff racers. Dicks! <laughs> Ginormous... D oh, sorry, three. Oh, and that Gwar wants a uh, piece of me. <laughs> I'm just glad they're not very strong. <laughs> Alright. You, Mr. Cliff Racer. Okay. 
<laughs> At least I don't miss them very much anymore. Which is good, I think. <laughs> Wait, this is... Ah. Aha. This is the one where we want to go... Oh, come on. Seriously? One, two, three. Any more? It's like you get up here and all you see are freaking cliff racers. Well, I'm gonna go down to the very bottom. Maybe I'll be out of range enough. Well, not when he's right above me, but he didn't seem to notice me, so... I'll take it. Small wins. So annoying, those things. There's a rat. There's another cliff racer. There's two Ashlanders that want a tango. There we go, fighting. <laughs> and... They didn't even have anything interesting. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, I need to find a bed or something to rest. Here, let's sleep for an hour. Or until healed. Whatever happens faster. Speed! And endurance. Very good. Very good indeed. Okie dokie. <laughs> Ever try to talk your way out of fight with the dragon? I mean, there are several dragons you need to talk to in that game. <laughs> And, uh, when Alduin first resurrects Salokanir, you could... You actually, uh, hear it talk a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yes, get real close to me, that way I know for a fact that I'm in range. Well, to be honest, he could use fire spell, probably would make short work of him. Okay. We are making progress. We're almost halfway up the Foyada. <laughs> yes. Those are the nice dragons. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Shishi. <laughs> that is the um, fortress of Shishi. And it's covered. Absolutely surrounded. In uh, cliff racers. There's one at ground level. S Seriously. And there's another one there. <laughs> and there's another- I, I just killed one and another one spawned like right there. I- uh. And there's another one. Seriously, no wonder people hated these things. Okay. I mean... I turn. Yay! Long blade increased to 69. Giggity. Wow, that took me a while to get that pun out of the way. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, I am 12 years old. How did you know? <laughs> okay. Some Dwemer ruins. If I find the entrance, I'll go in and uh, have a look. Oh, well, look. Someone didn't bother to make the terrain in properly. <laughs> Whew. 
Bethesda Mountains. <laughs> oh, hello. This is not a door. I guess the entrance is on the other side then. Alright. No, uh, Dwemer ruin spelunking for us. That looks like a button, but it isn't. Alright. Cool. I can go super nerdy and say the Skyrim dragons are not dragons, they are wyverns. Yes, yes they are. The dragons uh, in, um, Lord of the... Uh, not Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones. Uh, are also wyverns. At least the ones that, um... Television series, uh, Daenerys Targaryen had. Those are most definitely wyverns. <laughs> uh, it's getting nighttime. Some more ruins. The smog was a wyvern. I cannot remember what smog looks like. Okay. So... I don't remember him saying anything about a fork in the path. So... Basically look for the wreckage. Aha! There's a wreckage. He did say about the wreckage, so... You swim around the wreckage. They actually expect you to swim. <laughs> Hello. <-yo. laughs> Derelict shipwrecked. Shipwrecked? <laughs> Wrecked! <laughs> okay, we can do something about that, I hope. Um, where's Unduzi's open door? Right here. <laughs> a mark! <laughs> Ooh, a grand soul gem. And water breeding? Okay. Bone meal. So that means there's probably something interesting uh, in the um, bow of the ship, maybe? Perhaps? Skooma! Someone was, um... Okay. <laughs> These arrows are called uh, the Grey Shaft of Unraveling. I rest my case. <laughs> uh, oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeleton wasn't particularly strong. Uh, ooh. Alchemical reagents. Yes, please. Give me all of them. Barrel? More alchemy stuff, more water breathing. Yes, please. Wooden chest, there's nothing there. Oh, there's the bit that I need the wa uh, water breathing for. More alchemy. A jug. Eh, might as well. I made that joke earlier, so... There you go. Here's a jug. There. <laughs> so, didn't really need that potion. Um, it's just good to know that they're there if I need them. And there's another jug. There. There were two jugs in the ship. <laughs> and an iron club. And a bold mold cuirass. Right. Yeah, that would be nice if I wasn't wearing, like, stupidly powerful heavy armor. Well, it's not, you know, the most powerful. It's not even enchanted yet. We will do some enchantment. And I, when it comes to these games, I always have to fight myself not to basically uh, do the enchantment um, exploit. <laughs> And basically just create the single most powerful, um, item. Goddamn slaughterfish. 
It's cliff racers in land and slaughter fish in the sea. Thanks, Bethesda. Seriously, I can't swim two steps. <laughs> Yay, blocking. Speaking of cliff racers, they're never that far off. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's a drug. <laughs> or however you say that. <laughs> drug. And that's the thing that uh, games like Oblivion and Skyrim were missing. I mean, seriously, look at this. Where did the weird enemies go? Oh yeah, you have dragons in Skyrim. Seriously, look at this thing. <laughs> Bring back the weird Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls is weird. <laughs> Come on. And there is so much stuff at the bottom of the ocean to find. Actually, one of the Daedric shrines is at the bottom of the uh, of the sea, off of the uh, west coast, I think, of La Hod. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Okay, so we've killed a bunch of fish. There's bubbling, I hear bubbling. Yeah, take the tremor root. Those usually uh, have nice alchemical effects. I'll have to take some time and create more potions while I'm uh, not streaming. Okay, so Urshalaku camp is just east of here. And they, well, they said that we should avoid the Daedric Ruins, but... There's a clan fear. Well, two clan fears, actually. They don't deal a lot of damage, but to be honest, neither do I. <laughs> and they seem to be hitting me more than I hit them. But then again, that's the uh, in combat for you. Mm-hmm. Before I go and tango with that one, let me see if I can heal. Failed. Failed. And I don't have enough magicka. Water breeding. Cure blight. Drain attribute. Drain attribute. Those are poisons. Pachu pachu. How about restore magicka? Fortify Magicka? No. Cure Common Disease. Cheap Restore Magicka. Yes, drink all of them. And we heal. Hold on. You and me, boy. <laughs> the Clan Fear wins. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a first blood fight, the clan fear wins. Take. I'm taking your Daedra heart. Did I take this one? Yes, yes I did. Because once again, alchemy. Okay, I'm going to attempt it now. Um, Asurnabi... Asurnabi Tashpi. Asurnabi Tashpi. There you go. It's the Asur Nabi Tashbi Shrine. And you can tell that uh, Bethesda didn't have voice actors to... Well, voice um, the whole... The entire uh, dialogue. Because ain't nobody got time to say that. Seriously. <laughs> As a drummer. 
And he's got a spear. And I got lucky. Very lucky. <laughs> It's a dwarven spear. Well, they are usually very well equipped, and I guess I'm not high enough a level for them to be using Daedric weapons, so... Dwarven weapons it is. Oh, hello. This is the Shrine of Merun's Dagon, isn't it? Probably. It's over for me! <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering with the summon, to be honest. When I should just be bothering with the summoner. <laughs> That's why I was bothering with the summon. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Put the graves back. That's quite enough out of you. <laughs> That guy dealt significant damage. So, no obvious way down unless I jump on top of Maroon's Dagon's head. There's another one downstairs. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Let me get my stamina back. And then Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I need potions. Let's just fortify health. That's not going to help me. <laughs> I don't have the necessary stuff. I came in here woefully unprepared. Oh, hello. I cannot read during battle, but what was the name of that scroll? Warrior's Blessing. Okay, that's one. Oh wow, that guy's got a lot of health. And a very good armor. I should know, I'm wearing a very similar one. <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> Don't get caught in the scenery. Yeah! Yes! I win. <laughs> Barely, but I win. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking his axe. And y this guy had a glass dagger. Look at that, 4,000 gold value. It's not even enchanted. Sweet. Ooh. It's the Ring of Sanguine Silver Wisdom, which gives us a constant effect of Fortify Illusion. Five points. Which I will take. And I will put on immediately. Not big into the Illusion School of Magic, but it's a very nice ring. Let's see. Common soul gem with a flame matronach and a diamond. Oh yes. I stole from Maroon's Dagon. That was dumb. <laughs> Quick save. Let me guess. It was before I jumped down. Of course it was. Ah! <laughs> Story of my life. Well, on that Terrible disappointment. Don't sue me, Jeremy Clarkson. Um, 
I'm gonna call it the end right there. And we are at about an hour, so yeah, good time. I will go back downstairs and um, kick their shit in in between streams and um, hopefully leave the looting of uh, the shrine to when I am on stream so I can try and kill that Daedra properly. So, yeah. Thank you all very much for joining me. This was uh, episode 10 of this OpenMW playthrough. And I guess it because it was such a nice number, it decided to have some flickering in the performance degradation and everything else. I'll have to see what the heck's going on. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is LWDW day. Uh, myself, Agil, and Ven will all get together and talk some Linux at you. Uh, you can join into the conversation, of course. Just go to linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button. And while you're there, mouse over the support bits and, uh, well, support us if you can. If not, just share the show. That's all we uh, actually ask that everyone does. Share the show, tell everyone about it. Someone's bound to like it at some point, so... Monkeys and typewriters, right? Well, that's about it for me. Tune in also on... Uh, Thursday for Jordan's stream, tune in on Friday for Ven's stream, and of course, Saturday is Linux Gamecast Weekly. It's a work week worth of um, content. That's a lot of W's. Work week worth of content. Yes. So yeah, it's only just begun, and there's years of it available on our YouTube channel, so go check it out. Thanks, everyone. Bye!